part, and I'm being sarcastic in this regard, if you did kind of a haphazard job like I did of creating your paths, um, this is going to be a little bit more tedious. So it's, you know, it's always the case, the more work you put in in the front end, the less you have to do in the back end. That is, I, I have never not known that to be a case. So what you can see me doing here is I'm making sure each item on my totem pole is in its own specific layer. And um, what I've got to do, because I'm using this mirror method, it it lets me select everything on the right, but it doesn't select everything on the left. So what I've got to do is I've got to go into each layer and then select everything in that layer and it's going to select everything on the right side and I've got to uh, expand or basically uh, put into place uh, the mirror effect that we have going on. So I have to like make the mirror effect real live paths and that's what I'm doing here is I'm, is I'm going to select everything and then expand. And that's what you see me doing here. So I'm going to make sure that that horizontal bar that's not showing is not locked. I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to go to object and expand appearance. And you can see as soon as I do that, the left side turns blue and that pretty much gave me um, a duplicate. And now all I got to do, because I want to organize my layers, I'm going to pull that duplicate um, and kind of and merge them. And y'all, if you don't understand what I'm doing by clicking um, and by merge, I mean group. If you don't understand what I'm doing when I'm clicking on these little circles on the right, I strongly recommend that you stop and you learn how to manipulate your layers by using these little toggles to select whatever is in that layer because if you don't keep organized in these kind of illustrations it could go so wrong so fast and it's going to be just complete chaos so you know stay on top of your organization of your layers learn how to manipulate your layers easily it's going to save you so much headache and so much time. So after I expanded everything, I basically selected both left and right side and saw that they were selected and then grouped them together. So now that I can go in and select again, each totem piece, uh, and now I'm going in, and this is the tedious part. I can go in and join. So to do that, um, I'm just going to use my direct selection tool and hit uh, Command J to join. And because I use the pencil tool, so this is, you can see where this, the pencil tool bit me in the butt here. Uh, I used the pencil tool and it didn't close out my paths. So I am like, I have overlap. Or I guess I should say, when we're doing the mirror method, you don't really close out your paths in the center. But I got pretty sloppy on just lining stuff up. You can see how stuff crosses over. So I'm having to go through and when I join these paths, all the way down and like little things like this right here just a huge pain and simply all I'm doing is I'm toggling between my direct selection tool and my pin tool or my um, anchor change tool with which is shift C and I am um, just you know once things are joined, if they go wonky, I am just cleaning them up. So this is kind of the tedious going through the middle. I don't have to do it on the left or right. Um, it's just simply in the middle that I need to go and join my left side illustration with my right side illustration. Up, There's just a lot of pointy ends that I don't like so I'm taking the time now to go in and clean up and of course 
as I add color to this, I will continue to go in and clean up. This is just me being sloppy uh, in my mirroring technique and having to put the time in now to actually clean it up. Now that everything is cleaned up, I probably want to add some stuff to this before I start working on the color. <laughs> 